Yeah, so many, Jess. And I just sit here reflect this as the 63 Cortina down in the Hino Hub. And I just sit here and look at it, like look at the little gear stick. And whilst things are so different, you know, it, it is so much the star, same. It's, it's the art of driving a piece of machinery around this wonderful, wonderful racetrack. And I don't know, there's just something about that that has wedded us to it. So, yeah, I like everyone. I've got some some favourite memories. And in my top three, although I was a, a wee child, I guess, if you like, what was really important to me as a memory forevermore in the sport was a combination of 67 and 68. Because whilst we had those beautiful little minis and Cortinas and Volkswagens and Vauxhalls in the early days, when we got to 67, Ford showed up with this thing. It was an XR GT with a V8 engine in it. Freddie Gibson and Harry Firth won the race in it. And that changed everything forever. And that made for me the race become what it is today. Because in 68, a year later, that car, Bruce McPhee, Don Mulholland, Wyong Motors, that's why Scafie loves it, in a HK Holden with a 327 Chevy in it rocked up. And that won the race. And there it is, Holden versus Ford. And we're GM versus Ford today, still very much the same thing. So that's a really, really significant and special memory for me because it did change our sport forever. Then there's this one. When you talk about moments that the hair stands up on the back of your neck and your arms, it was this. When Wing Cup ran out of fuel, and maybe I'm wedded to this stuff because I love the strategy. The game's not just about driving the car as fast as you can. It is about strategy. And I just, it was as much about Neil Crompton and Scafie's call as anything else. I distinctly remember, Neil, this is a big moment in Australian motorsport. It was really quite significant. And those words still ring in my ears constantly. Um, just a magic, magic moment that I will never, ever forget. And then finally, by far and away, my greatest memory. As a young bloke, just as you said, blue blood in these here veins, always will, always has been. And that's what played a big role. My dad was a Ford guy, not a racing person, but he drove Fords as a consequence of his work. So I was a little bit wedded to them anyway. But when this happened, this was the greatest day of my life. I was growing up in Griffith. I remember driving around town with a Ford flag. I was the right bogan having a ball. Um, and there it was. And I, you know, I got to know Alan and Colin really well in later years. To watch that and become friends with these guys, what an iconic moment for our sport. And you know, I, I get emotional just sitting here looking at that now. Not only because what they achieved, Alan changed our sport forever. Love you, Alan, I know you're there watching. Um, changed our port sport forever with the professionalism he brought to our sport, the look of the cars, his transporters, the way he presented himself, game changers. But what beautiful cars. These were road cars you could buy. The style of the two-door Falcon, the big Simmons wheels on them, the 351 engines in them. Everything about that car, the livery, is just beautiful and makes my heart thump just sitting there looking at it. Just so, yeah, there's my favourite moment. Cannot deny it. <laughs>